If I were to fall in love with an element, it would have to be carbon. Carbon's the life of the party. You'll know when carbon walks in. <laughs> Carbon's just annoyingly good at everything. How can she be so versatile? Solids and liquids and gases because of carbon energy. Life has become longer, health's better, all because of this sort of free gift. So how did I come to be the most talked about, but least understood element on Earth? The levels of carbon pollution have increased dramatically. It's not carbon's fault. Know that carbon dioxide is building up. It's going to lead to coastal flooding, droughts, storms. It's the way we are using carbon. It's not carbon herself. And we're approaching a tipping point. Carbon is profoundly important in the universe. She is what makes us possible. We don't exist independently of nature. We are nature because we are made of carbon. So is everything else. But how did that spark of life begin in your world? There's a direct line from the birth of carbon in stars to the birth of us and all of the life around us here on Earth. It's like finding a long lost relative. Wow. I'm a participant in a great unfolding story in the universe. We've been very fortunate to find the oldest carbon-bearing material in the world, 3.5 billion years old. This is the signature of life. My generation feel viscerally that their future is at stake. Nothing is more urgent to survival than understanding carbon and where she likes to hide. Wherever I find life, it's going to have some carbon chemistry just the way I do. You have to learn to get along with carbon and she's very happy to get along with us if we treat her right. Builder or destroyer, which do you want me to be?